Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's six box NBA warm up mixer. NBA is happening what, in two days, Sean? Thursday? Uh, I think, it's I Friday. think thir Friday? Anyway, it's happening this week, basketball, so we're warming up to it. And we're also giving away a Trey Young Pink Ice PSA 10. Oh, D Mun says Thursday, yeah. And Clippers Lakers on Thursday, perhaps, and then another game, I think the first TNT game uh, since the uh, pandemic. Pause everything. So that 72 filled, so we got this done. There's what's involved right there. The pink ice could be 600 plus dollars. Should be nice. So we'll do the randomizer. We'll randomize these names. Big thanks to everybody who got some spots straight up and thanks to everyone who filled up those uh, fast break packs. All teams are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Four and a three, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, I said seven. All right, and again, seventh and final time. After seven times, we got Jason down to Sean. Seven times for the teams. Two. And seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers down to the Boston Celtics. So Jason, Jason Fractor, man, if Jason becomes famous someday, maybe there'll be Jason Fractors inside baseball or basketball products or something like that. It's like, oh, I just pulled the Jason Fractor of LeBron James. He has the Cavs, Stephen P with the Bulls, Ryan H, this is, what's, this is the stuff that goes through my head, Ryan H with the Rockets, Oliver with the Magic, Ryan H with the Knicks, Ryan S back from a quick little vacay with his fam, Raptors and Jazz. Ray Hughes, last spot mojo star next to your name. Milwaukee Bucks. Rick with my Lakers. Robert with the Pels. Nice. Ryan S. with the Clips. Matthew with the Hawks. David with the Thunder and the Pistons. He won the spot, getting him the Thunder. The spot he bought straight up, Pistons. Nicholas with the Warriors. David with the Trailblazers. George with the Grizz. Nice one, George. Kevin with the Heat. Uh, uh, Wizards. Washington Wizards for Rocchio. George with the Suns. Asa, Spurs. Brianna with the Pacers. Zachary with the Cornets, Mike with the uh, Nuggets, Zach with the Sixers, Ryan H. with the Mavs, Bill with the Kings, George with the Nets, Ryan Gomez with the Timberwolves, and Sean with my rivals, the Boston Celtics. All right, so I'm going to pause the video really quick, allow people to kind of get an idea of their teams, and maybe study that that list of boxes right here too. We got two, three, 19, 20 boxes, one 18, 19 boxes, and two 17, 18 boxes. So think about that while you're considering trades. Stick around, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back folks. Look at that, there was a deal done. So Brianna is out of the Pacer spot. She's now with the Hornets. Put a little T next to there so if you're following along at home, you'll know who draws first blood in that trade. And Zach, Gets the Pacers little T next to his name as well. Good luck to the both of you. Let's print and rip. Print, baby, print. All right, this is what we're giving away at the end. Nice uh, pink ice, Trey Young. Nice. This will get used to spot money back and then some. Here's all the different boxes that we have here. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do those mosaic packs first. Get those out of the way. What happened here? Although this is our only, should we save some t for the end? Ah, let's just do them now. We got uh, the uh, White Sox and Indians on in the background. Second game of the doubleheader. Indians up 5-1. We've got basketball starting up soon, man. That's that's gonna be weird. Seeing basketball this late into the summer, like meaningful basketball and playoff basketball, deep into the summer. Baseball starting this late. Baseball's gonna go late too. There'll be some days where we'll have like World Series games right next to like Monday Night Football games.
What's that, Sean? I know. It's, we cer certainly do deserve this overload of sports. Absolutely. Hopefully, all of it continues without any trouble. P.J. Dozier joins the Nuggets in Orlando, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. Zion Williamson clears quarantine, set to practice with Pelicans. I think that happened a day or two ago. There's a possibility of the Timberwolves on sale, like it looks like. An off-season extension unlikely for Bam Adebayo. This is all according to HoopsRumors.com, which is an extension of one of my favorite websites, MLBTradeRumors.com. Anthony Davis's status for Thursday to be determined. Interesting. Financial impacts, effects of pandemic likely to impact an NBA offseason. Well, yeah, of course. Aaron Baines receives clearance to travel to Orlando. How do I handle all of my picks if four sports play on the same day? I don't know. I just have to make. I'll just have to study all the sports and, and see which picks have the best value, and go with that. Some sports may just be. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out. Wait, isn't there a Dodger game happening soon? There is. I'm gonna switch to that. They're facing. They're in Houston for the first time since 2017. Although I think both teams are facing very different lineups now, but. And then the Lakers play, my Lakers play on Thursday with the Lou Williams-less Clippers who had to get lemon pepper wings, which got me thinking about lemon pe pepper wings, which, which might be what I get tomorrow or Thursday. I don't know. That's what I hear too. DM that, that Magic City in Atlanta has excellent wings. That's what Corey heard too. I heard on the I heard on the radio today saying that hey the the radio host was like I've got friends in Atlanta and they say it's legit it's just known around town That's what I heard, Corey. Those hit we got more hit packs tonight too. Who do we have here? Is this is this Framber Valdez? Let's look I always have a little box score thing open here so I can check that out. Yeah, Framber Valdez. I think he's a He's a relative youngster, so so maybe maybe dust off your uh, Framber Valdez. Oh, I'd love to see a Dodger slide in hard into Jose Altuve. I wish Chase Utley was still on the team. Or, or, or what, George Springer? Yeah, I don't like Altuve either. I know, I know, I know. Altuve... Altuve is a little guy, and that is inspirational for a little guy like myself. Matthew Scott, are you in the ATL? Love being a Postmates driver and picking up from Magic City. I always help them take as long as they want. I didn't even think about that. That's a good call. I would too. I would too. You know, I'm not, and I'm not a, I'm not a big adult club kind of guy at all. 
But, I mean, if I was there for work. <laughs> All right, there's a green Tybal for uh, Zachary G. Rex says, I'm saving all my Rui Hachimura cards because of me. Well, it's not, it's not just me. I think a lot of people agree that Rui Hachimura is a good, uh, is a good keeper, and his stock could increase significantly because, I mean, I think he's really the only offensive threat on that team. So he'll get his touches. He'll get his shots. So I think that's a good keeper. Jackson Hayes, NBA debut, silver for the Pelicans. Robert Runkel with that one. He is, as uh, as Sean has said before, he is Zion adjacent. So that that helps his stock. NBA debut, John ja Morant. Now remember, veteran commons don't ship, so sorry, that Goran Dragic is, isn't going to ship. But uh, but this, since it's a parallel, Brian Forbes does ship. I think that makes sense, right? The only vet commons that do ship would be uh, second-year Luka Doncic base cards. Um, LeBron James commons. Giannis commons. Grizzlies, that'll be for George with the Grizz. Obviously, Giannis inserts like this will, will ship anyway. Just like that Luka Doncic. There's Giannis. I'm not a fan of Magic. I'm a fan of her. She's great. She's got good songs. Really nice. Nice to talk to. There's Tyler Hero, green. Here's a guy, Kevin M, who has a chance to raise his stock during these seeding games that are happening, and as well as the playoffs. So that James Harden, I mean, that could be another player. There's Porzingis as well, Doncic, Given Go, and Goga. James Harden. Here's a guy that could also increase his stock. I mean, he's refreshed. I mean, he could just go off. All right, here's the pink camos. All of these ship. There's LeBron James, pink camo. I think, was it? There's Brandon Clark. MTG wants Brandon Clark to get a little, get a little more going. Max, my picks today are the uh, Twins and Diamondbacks. I had a rough day yesterday, but firing again, just like just like group breaks. But first, you don't succeed. Try, try again. There's LeBron for the Cavs. That'll be for Jays. I got the Twins at minus 142, Diamondbacks at minus 110. I think, are those games in progress now? I think they should be. Twins are up 5 nothing. Good. On the Cardinals, bottom of the third. Still a lot of time left. And Diamondbacks up early in the top of the first. Or no, they're threatening. They're second and third. Top of the first. A lot of game to go, but we'll see. And obviously all of these rookie cards will ship. And who knows what, what, the, what they could do. Couple great games from some of those rookies. Let's get some hoops out of the way here. That's 1920 hoops. So should we save 1920 stuff? Is there older stuff here? 
that was one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, let's go back in time a little bit to 2017-18. Uh, Donner's Optic Basketball, fast break edition. So, heads up, Celtics, Sean Maddock. Oh, there's Walker Bueller making a season debut against the Astros. Does he plunk anybody? <laughs> plunk watch. This is 2020 Plunk Watch. Yeah. I don't know what kind of face mask does Harden have without with all that beard. No. No, nothing. nothing. First, first pitch fastball. George Springer. Nothing on George Springer. Although he wasn't... Walker Bueller wasn't around in 2017, so I don't know if he has... Springer grounds out. If, like... Like, if the Dodgers are leading comfortably... And see it. If the Dodgers are leading comfortably, and maybe, like... I don't know, a... Kenley Jansen is out there who hasn't really been getting a lot of work in, so maybe they'll put him out there. He'd, he'll do it. So if it's like Altuve, Correa, Springer, one of those guys, he'll do it. Bring back Eric. Eric Gagne was exciting to watch, even with the Royds, yeah. Alex Wood's on the dial. Interesting. It's Thomas Bryant rated rookie. Purple parallel. And behind Wes Uwundu is James Ennis for the Grizzlies. Fast break autograph for George Cobb. DeAndre Bembry to 50 for the Hawks. Matthew. Uh, yes, Tyler Brand. Sean will be on tonight. Although it's been kind of quiet, I don't know. Maybe, maybe all the action will happen later. We got a lot. We do have a lot of breaks that are pretty close. There's Jason Tatum, the rookies. Would sports cards company have photographers at these games? I don't think so. I mean, we would see them. There's only a certain amount of people. I'll bet they'll they'll license team uh, licensed photos. From like team photographers is my guess. I would also guess. Yeah, that would be that would be my guess. That's a good question though, Mike. But yeah, would we be seeing, you know, like stadium club photography? You know, with uh, with no fans or cardboard cutouts. NBA games are gonna be empty too. So NBA games, we'll see people, uh, we'll see no people in the in the stands. It'll all look like summer league games or something like that, or practice practice games from their like from their like facilities or something. Donovan Mitchell, rookie, and Devin Reed. Devin Reed Orange to 193. That'll be for George and the Suns. And nice jazz for Ryan S. Donovan Mitchell rated rookie. Just 
Bregman. I feel like Bregman is the one I hate the most <laughs> from that 2017 Astros team. I don't know why. Yeah, he does have a punchable face, Sean. You're right. I think he was the most. He had like, he had that YouTube channel. He had some Twitter chatter, like trading barbs with Trevor Bauer. This goes to the Sixers, by the way. Late bloomer, maybe Zach, Markel Fultz. But he was the one talking the most trash, Sean. I think so. I mean, he would be like, "Oh, look at this dinger that I hit off of you, Trevor Bauer," and like, he, there there was like some, some some of that kind of trash talk happening, but. <laughs> But, I don't know. It's, it's like Bregman knew he was cheating, but he was the most outspoken about how clutch he was and how many homers he would hit. <laughs> and be like, come on, man. At least Altuve and Correa like, didn't really tout that too much. All right. 1819 Chronicles Basketball Hanger Box. Trey Young hunting. There he is. Trey Young, maybe so maybe a Luka Doncic in there somewhere. Marvin Bagley, DiVincenzo, Robinson. Brunson, Miles. All right, so just a couple Trey Youngs in there, not bad. Are these classics cars exclusive to hangar boxes? That's what uh, Mike Tower is saying. Has Trump not thrown? Is he the only president not to throw a first pitch as a president? I thought he did it at a Nationals game ages ago. Oh, he's done it before he was president? Oh. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. He should, he should do one. All right, so this is old mosaic when they used to call it prism mosaic. Once again, Matthew D had those couple, those two Trey Young. So now we're in, are we still in 2017-18? And 27 back to 27-18 now. Well, I think he should. He should keep up with tradition. There's Giannis. So these aren't numbered. This one is numbered. I guess those aren't numbered. Isaiah Thomas Cavs edition for Jason. Giannis for the Bucks. All those Bucks will go to Ray Hughes. Believe it or not, Ray, those non-rookie Giannis Antetokounmpo's, you know, carry some carry some decent value more than a lot of other vet players in these sets. I guess that one is numbered. Maybe I'm thinking of a different set. The purple ones. DeMar DeRozan, Raptors. That'll be for Ryan S. Kawhi Leonard. Alfred Payton. Anthony Davis. OG Anobi. And let's do these uh, 1920 hoops cards first. I guess we'll close with Crown Royale. And then we'll give away that Trey Young. George Copps, I don't think George Washington, if I remember correctly, I don't think baseball was around during George Washington times. I think since the invention of baseball. Yeah, but it's technically true, right. Anthony says, I'm pretty sure he did, and the Nats fans booed him, but maybe you're thinking about what Matthew Scott was saying, saying he sat, actually sat in a box at a national game but got booed. Hmm. 
I don't know, is this all like Mandela effect now? Where we're all convinced that <laughs> that Trump did or did not throw first first pitch? Probably Mandela effect. He was there, and in my head, he threw a first pitch. Yeah, MTG saying, Taft the fattest president? Mass challenge, says Stephen K. Yeah easy there. Still still a president. Whether you agree with Taft's policies or not, there was that teacup dome incident. I don't know if that was Taft. Sounds like, I think it was that era. Mike Tower doesn't know if it was a joke or a rumor or a joke that seventh inning stretch may have started with Taft. He got up and the crowd got up. Matthew Scott saying Grover Cleveland actually insisted on being the catcher for the first pitch. Interesting. That's leadership right there. Most catchers are the are the smart guys on the team, right? President Cleveland, underrated. President George W. Bush has the most first most first pitches. He's got a decent arm though, doesn't he? I think he divested his stake in the Rangers when he became president. I don't know if, if he's back in with him now. All right, Quinn Buckner is our auto right here. That goes to the Grizz, George Cobb, Grizzlies. Why don't we have celebrities and, and, and public figures do like coin tosses and stuff like that? No one does that. What is what is what do we have in basketball? Tip off, I guess. I guess you wouldn't really trust someone to do the tip off. A ceremonial tip off? Ceremonial puck drop? Huh. I feel like that's not as publicized as much. Like NBA Finals, Game One, you know. Like let's let's see a uh, let's see a public figure go out there and do throw the ball up for the for the tip. Almost knocked over my camera. Throw the ball up for the tip. Pelicans. That'll go to Robert Runkle with the Pels. Maybe a presidential trampoline dunk says MTG. Wow. And now, the President of the United States, President Trump, and then jumps off a trampoline, three sixties and dunks. Woo! That's a re-election right there for Trump. There's Ty Jerome for the Suns, George Cobb. <laughs> Kanye's gonna do it. There's Giannis. I don't know why he was flipped around. That that made me that made me think that it might have been an autograph, but it's just trying to fool me here, Ray. I know. That's what I thought, Rick, uh, Zach. It was flipped around. I was like, is that a Giannis auto? Do I get hyped up, or do I just keep it cool? So Sean. Corbett was saying, and he'll be on a little bit later, Chuma Okiki? You're on the Chuma Okiki train. Front runner for Rookie of the Year next year. Because, folks, he did not play a single minute of NBA basketball. So could he be a candidate? Could this be a candidate? That could be a nice buy low right here. Oh, an opportunity for someone to, to slide strong into second. Mm. 
All right, high voltage. DeMar DeRozan for the Spurs. What's the notch at the top of the Giannis card? Oh, I think it, they're trying to make it look like a a retail like hanger thing. I think that's what they're trying to make it look like a little like a backstage. Oh, I, I get it. You know when you put like the lanyard or whatever through there and you hang it to your backstage pass when you're going backstage at concerts. Well, they use they use stickers now, but badges. We don't need no stinking badges. I have no idea what movie that's from, but it's from a movie. Maybe an old old western maybe. <laughs> What's a concert? Yeah. That that got canceled in 2020. Although I'm still working on the Joe Jaspi summer concert series. I'll bring in the geek, play a couple songs once a week. I could work on it. I could do a song a week. There's Luke Kennard. But I don't know. I think I'd have to do it at the beginning of the week. The end of the week, my voice is just so, so wrecked that I don't think I'd want to do it at the end of the week. Maybe at the beginning of the week. Maybe next Tuesday. Uh, Matthew Scott saying, or no, Ma Mike Tower saying, Ter Treasure of Sierra Madre is where the badges quote comes from. Matthew Scott says Three Amigos. Kev Kevin Jeffries says Blazing Saddles. Hmm. You originally think it's from what? The Sierra Madre movie might have been the original, but Three Amigos did a play off of it. All right, with those comedy titans. Steve Martin, Martin Short, and third guy. Chevy Chase, right. I don't like all three of those guys. Oh, no, I like Chevy Chase, I think. Kind of. I don't know. I don't get those guys. I don't get them. There's a crown royale to close things off. Yeah, no, I, I can objectively objectively appreciate the comedic brilliance of of, of Chevy Chase, Martin Short, and, and Steve Martin. I just don't think I get them. Like, I don't get it. Like, Steve Martin especially. And all my friends just like bug their eyes. just get, They're like, what? I thought you'd totally be a Steve Martin guy because you're just so funny and witty. <laughs> Which I guess is something Steve Martin would say, but I just, I don't know. I guess the, the sort of Larry David kind of vibe is what, is what I like. But uh, I, that's what people tell me, Rex, that he's brilliant. But I, I've, I've watched the movies, I've seen the stand-up. And I'm just like, so he plays banjo and he has an arrow through his head. Like, I don't get it. Like, you know, like I could watch a bunch of other old school guys and be like, all right, I get that. I get Bill Cosby, you know, his stand-up's great. It's funny. You know, I great. I get the guy who smashes watermelons. So it's like, all right, I can get that. A couple John Morant's is nice for the Grizz, George Cobb. I get that. But... I don't get the banjo and an arrow through his head and walking like an Egyptian and they went to Mark Twain prize. Um, Ryan S with the Clippers. I guess Cameron Johnson is going to be your autograph. No Zion here. Sorry guys and girls. Five out of 99 die cut auto for the Suns. That'll be for George Cobb. I think no one, nobody drew any first blood in the trade. There may have been some, a couple PJ Washington rookie cards here and there. Maybe some Goga Batadzes for the paper, paper side, Pacers side. Here's another one right here. Nothing too crazy in this mixer, ladies and gentlemen. But 
That is the way the cookie crumbles. Good thing we've got this. Good thing we got that. Got to give away that Trey Young. So let's flip back to the list right here. Everybody has a shot at the Trey Young. So from Matthew down to Rokio and the Wizards. Let's clear that list out. That was from a different thing. Oh, not walk like an Egyptian. That was the Bangles. Uh, King, the King Tut bit. Yeah, I don't get that King Tut bit. I don't get Steve Martin. He's a jerk in that movie, The Jerk. With, I don't know. All right. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a two, seven times. A name on top gets the Trey Young Pink Ice graded PSA 10, Gem Mint 10. After seven, lucky, lucky seven. Name on top after seven. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. After seven times, I need a drum roll here or something like that. All right, so congrats to the name on top. Big thanks, everybody else, by hook or by crook, however you got into this uh, mixer. I appreciate it. Name on top is going to be Ray Hughes, last spot mojo. Just had a couple bucks cards. I, a couple of Giannis cards, I think, was it. Nothing significant. But this is pretty significant. 2018, from 2018-19, uh, Prism Basketball, Trey Young. It's rookie year, obviously. Pink Ice, Pink Cracked Ice, Gem Mint, ten, already graded for you. You don't have to wait for the grading services or anything. Already done for you. The time itself that you save would be worth the cost of the break. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We, we talked presidential first pitches. We talked, uh, we talked comedy, talked a little baseball, talked a little basketball. What a great mixer. Thanks, everybody. Should I do a quick little recap? I guess it's a 40-minute break, so maybe we'll just breeze through these pretty quickly. Nothing significant. Some, some Zion, some Jaws, you know, some nice old-school Tatums, but nothing earth-shattering in terms of the autos and the, uh, and the big rookie cards, but... There was the opportunity for that. Thanks for breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.